So now that we've taken a look at format strings and how format strings are supposed to be used with functions such as printf, let's start exploring how we can abuse format strings to leak data that may not have originally been intended. Now, keep in mind, when we're using format strings, we have control over how the data being leaked is represented. So we could use percent %c to display data as a single character, right? Now, that would give us a single byte. If that's all we need, then that's great. But if we wanted to leak more than a single byte, we could use percent %d or percent %i, and that would leak four bytes displayed as a decimal integer. If hexadecimal was easier to work with, we could use percent %x, and we could leak those same four bytes, but get it displayed in hexadecimal format. Now, percent %s, which is intended to be used to display a string, is particularly powerful because what it does is it dereferences a pointer and reads out an arbitrary number of bytes. Now, these bytes may be printable or not printable, but they will still be read out, and they will continue to be read out until a null byte is encountered. Format strings also utilize size prefixes or size modifiers. Uh, here we see that percent %x normally leaks out four bytes. However, if you prefix it with h, you would get a hexadecimal representation of only two bytes. hhx would leak one byte as a hexadecimal value. Now, if we wanted to leak a larger amount, uh, we can use percent %l, which is shorthand for long, so we could leak eight bytes or a long hex. Let's take a look. So in order to explore this, let's write a vulnerable C program. Uh, we're going to include standard io.h because we want to call printf. And we're going to call printf on some format string and then just return zero. Now the format string is just going to be here on the stack. And we will copy whatever is in argv1 to that format string. And then we'll append a new line on there so that we don't have the garbage. And let's pass this a value of beef leet. And then. Let's, let's put an arbitrary string on the stack here. So we'll have a secret value. And then make the compiler happy. We will include a couple more header files. And if we compile this, and we'll give it uh, percent %d, we get a giant negative number. If we do percent %c, we just get 7. Well, this doesn't make sense. Like, 7 isn't the end of this, and the last byte here is 37. So percent %c interprets the least significant byte, which in this case is 37, as a character. And hex 37 is the character 7, which is why we see this here. Now percent %d shows us a giant negative number, which isn't particularly useful. If we did a long decimal, well, now all of a sudden the value is positive. Uh, and that's because the most significant bit is not set. Uh, so it is suddenly a positive number. What is oftentimes what you want to see is percent %x. We're used to seeing things in hexadecimal format. So if you were to do something like leak ox percent %x, this, this is now very similar to the type of things that we'd see in GDB or in IDA when we're talking about memory addresses or we're talking about looking at values in memory. Now, instead of just x, we could do lx. Now, in this case, because there are no higher um, bytes in this number, the value doesn't change. But not only that, because right now we're just looking at the intended value, right? We just have one uh, format specifier here. 
Now, one that I like to use that isn't in the slides is percent %p, which is shorthand for pointer. And so if we do percent %p, we still get ox uh, beef 1337, right? But it's one less character than long hex. Now, we can specify multiple of these. And now, now it's kind of interesting, because now we're starting to see values that are not in the original printf call, right? Because we control this format string. If we just keep putting percent %p, printf will just keep producing pointers, right? Now, I don't necessarily know what these are pointers to, because we have b fleet, we have 1a. Now, this 1a is a leak of what is in RDX, right? So we are gaining information about what is kind of the internal state of the program. But what if I want to get my secret value? Well, my secret value is a local, local variable, right? It's inside main, which means it is on the stack. So if I just keep doing percent %p, I should come across something that looks like a stack address, and I do. This 5560, this right here looks like a stack pointer. And that is third from the end here, or no, second from the end, so it should be this value right here. If I change that P to an S, we're now going to dereference that address and print out all of the bytes until a terminating null byte is encountered. And so suddenly we've leaked out my secret value from this binary, despite the fact that printf was only supplied with ox beef leet. So in that example, we just spammed percent %p until we found something interesting and then kind of explored it from there. But what if we know exactly what parameter we're interested in? I want to print the 32nd parameter uh, as a hex string. Can I do that or do I need to have 32 percent %p's to get there? Well, you can do something a little bit more concise, uh, and that is you can take advantage of the dollar sign operator inside your format string. The dollar sign operator allows us to specify what parameter we're interested in. So in the slide here, we have percent seven dollar sign x, which specifies that we want to print the seventh parameter as a hexadecimal value. Now we know that the seventh parameter is on the stack, so we can start leaking stack values that we target. So let's see if we can use that on the example that we have here. So I was interested in this string value, right? So let's count and see how many arguments along was it? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, looks like nine. So I can do ADA out percent, we'll do, we'll still have a leak, percent, nine dollar sign s and now i don't have all of that garbage i was able to target the specific parameter that i was interested in and this is surprisingly powerful as we'll see in the next uh, video here now the example that i just ran through is somewhat trivial in the sense that the user has full control of the format string and can set it to whatever they desire However, that does happen sometimes in the wild. There are less trivial format string vulnerabilities. Uh, some examples uh, would be like a dynamically generated format string where the user may not provide the format string literally, but based upon actions they take, they can help construct a specific format string that is malformed. This may cause printf to be called that will interpret data incorrectly, for example, calling percent %s on a pointer that isn't a string, right? That's going to leak a large amount of data. Now, there are also other functions uh, that are not printf, such as sprintf, which uses a format string to build a string, or snprintf, which limits the length but does the same thing. We also see format strings being used to take an input, such as sscanf or scanf. And Lastly, we have format strings being used for logging. This is somewhat common where you see fprintf, which is going to construct a string from a format string and then write it out to a file. Any one of these functions that rely on format strings are potentially exploitable. And so we should keep that in mind going forward.